Michelle Wintrick and her boyfriend lived in this house right behind me right here, and they rode out the storm inside with their two dogs. Now they still have most of their walls and some of their roof left, but still Michelle believes this is a total loss. She is just thankful that they all managed to come out unharmed. Michelle Wintrick is trying to save whatever she can find that's not soaking wet or covered in broken glass. She's still reeling from what she, her boyfriend, and two dogs survived Monday night. My boyfriend Aaron just grabbed my one dog and threw him in the bathroom. He turned to look at us in the doorway, but the door slammed shut, and that's when the building, like our house, was actually hit, and the doors slammed shut, the windows busted in. This was a new and frightening experience for the Florida native who's only lived in Alabama for a year. I've definitely experienced hurricanes before, but I will tell you nothing prepared me for what happened. Like it was like literally it's windy outside. A tree might fall down to like the windows imploding, doors slamming, the pressure changing, like house getting ripped apart. Crazy. Even with all this damage, she feels fortunate. We have a good part of our house still standing where we have neighbors whose homes are completely flattened. So um, we've been very blessed and thankful for the abundance of support she's getting from neighbors and strangers. The outreach of the community has been mind blowing. It's just been remarkable. Now, just to the left of Michelle's home here on Darling Drive is the Herring home. It is in much worse condition. They lost pretty much everything, but I talked to Patty Herring today and with all that loss, the one thing she's most concerned about is her missing cat. We're going to hear from her coming up on WVTM 13 News at 6. Back to you.